Hey friend, it's me Chanel. I'm back with another video doing DIY press on nails featuring BT Art Nails. Okay, we're going to start by naming all the things that come in your box. I got five sets of the actual tips. It also came with a gel glue to help cure the tips to your actual nail. I got a nail file. Also got the builder gel, which helps a lot with making it look really natural. And a top coat. Also comes with a UV light. The box also comes with the step-by-step -step instructions. I also bought this other nail glue just to try it. I got this from Amazon. So I'm starting with clean nails. I have cuticle oil, cuticle remover, and alcohol to help dehydrate my nails. And I bought this cute nail kit from Amazon. So I'm using the cuticle remover just to soften my cuticles and push them back, get all that gunk out of there. I don't know, this was my first time doing this and honestly, I don't think, me personally, I don't think I need cuticle remover. My cuticles were pretty good, but I still used it and pushed my cuticles as far back as I could. So this is just me cutting off any excess like hanging skin or hanging nails that I see. Just cleaning it up. So now I'm just using some of the alcohol to get all that stuff off, drying my nails out. I'm going to dry my nails out again after I buff my nails, but I just kept using the alcohol just to keep make sure there were no oils on my fingers. So yeah, this is me buffing it out, and then I'm going to go back in with the alcohol. Here's the UV light. It comes with a charging cord, but no block, just to let you know. But it was pretty good. So I'm gonna be sizing my nails just to see what sizes I need so that I can line them up and get ready for the glue. So listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, this glue, it was really good. It worked really well but it was messy as hell like it was a learning curve for me i've never done this before so maybe that's why it was a little bit harder for me but i really struggled with the mess in the very beginning like either not putting enough glue or putting too much then it piling under my finger getting a good angle to get it under the light like it was a mess but all in all after the first couple nails i started to get the hang of it and it came out good So you want to keep your nail under that light for about 60 seconds. Me, I'm impatient. So once I felt that it was glued on pretty good, I took my finger out and moved on. Now the UV light thing was cool, but the angles, it was difficult. I'm not going to front. So I think I may invest in the one that you put your whole hand in because that might be easier for me. So here I'm just buffing out the little tabs that end up showing at the tips after you break them off of the thing. 
it was pretty easy i don't know why everybody buffs them out instead of just like clipping them off with a nail clipper i think eventually i end up doing that so here we have the builder gel we put that on there and that's what makes it really look like a full set from a nail salon honestly so you're going to cure that down with the uv light again and then you're going to go on top of that with the top coat and then you're done So I kind of switched it up when I did my other hand. What I ended up doing was putting the builder gel on top of the tips before applying the tips to my actual nails. So I put the builder gel on, cured it, then I put the top coat on, cured it again, and then I used the glue to just glue it onto my nail and then I filed it down because I knew that I was not going to be able to use my non-dominant hand to do all this stuff. So I was like, let me try my best to figure this out. And it ended up being okay. One thing that I did notice, I don't know if it was the air or if that it was too close to the UV light. But the builder gel, the brush started getting really hard to the point that I could barely get the builder gel on the nail. So I'm not sure what I did wrong. I got to buy another one and see if it does the same thing. But yeah, it got really hard and it, it made it like mad difficult to put the builder gel on top of the nails and it be a smooth finish so like i said earlier i wanted to try this other glue that i heard was really really good so i tried it on my other hand so that I can compare and see which glue I like better. So, so far, like the gel glue, I like it better, but it's more messy to apply. This glue, it's way easier to apply, but my thumb and my pointer finger both came off the next day. So I don't know, it might've been from me rushing or me just not knowing what I was doing, but I'll try it again. And this is the final look. They came out fire. I probably will never go see Kim again. I love my girl, but I can't beat the price. I can't beat the price and not having to sit in her chair for two hours. Can't beat it. <laughs> if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single person that watches my videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm the one